Hello folks and welcome to Silent Place Starbound. This is actually like a really surprising thing that's kind of really spur of the moment and everything because they came up with this new update for this game. That was really shocking for me because they haven't really done much like the devs for this game for a while, up until recently I guess, and there's a major content update for it, so... This, for the first bit of it, I guess first like 30 minutes of gameplay, it's not really new stuff to me, because I had just gone through it with another character a moment ago right here, though, but for the most part, these are going to be first up experiences that I've not really done, so we're going to have go ahead and make another high model here, because they're fantastic characters. But each one of these, yeah, you can see my first character there. This game starts out in a very different way, like, it's like Terraria with quests, really, as you can see right here. So I'll let you go ahead and just read that for a moment, you know, whatever. I'm not actually going to read these off, so. This is entirely different than how it was initially when I was running this game the first time, because it wasn't all, like, pitch black when you first go in here and everything. It was just a ship, and you had, like, no indication of what to do. This thing over here gave you a couple of things to start up with, and then you just go planet side. Alright. Again, you guys, for this particularly, since it's not really a storyline, really, like, I guess... Just, I'll stop it here for a little bit, you know, and then you'll have to pause it to read it or something. I'm still not entirely sure how I'm going to do these Let's Plays because they're going to be pretty lengthy, I think, before I get certain things done. So there's probably going to be either a lot of jump cuts or I'm just going to do a massive recording session and just cut out different parts for it, I guess. Yeah, the crafting table. looks like versus the first one that I was. It's the same planet. Cool. Alright, so at least I get to keep all of my shit. Problem being with that, though, is now I... Hmm. I'll just go somewhere entirely different than where I was doing all this shit, so... I mean, technically, the, uh, a little bit cheating. I don't care. It's fine with me. not aggressive. Hey, okay. I'm okay with this. I apologize since this part is a little boring here. I'm just kind of like, I really, I really get into this game when I play it and everything. I think all of this shit in this game is just fantastic. It's one of my favorite games now on Steam. It's definitely one of my favorite all-time games on Steam. Standing beside no more. this, you know, do what I do when I play these kind of games, just point out the similarities and differences to other survival games. There's just so many variations of them now, like, I don't know, I think Minecraft had already been done before that kind of a thing, but I feel that Minecraft was, and that gave me a lot of life, why have I never known about that trick before now? 
the lighting is a lot darker than it once was. But anywho, Minecraft like kind of just paved the road to something that had already been done before, I suppose, but they like actually succeeded at it, Mojang, you know. So I don't know really how to explain it, because I don't think Minecraft was like the start of this kind of thing. I haven't really been uh kind of wearing a wetsuit actually. I don't know. Why did I do that? I don't need a campfire. Well, I mean, I can always use it, I guess. What I need to do is make some bandages. I need to cook some food, some raw steak, or I use some plant fibers to make a bow. And it's going to get very dark very soon. So I guess it's just as simple as that, really. And then why did I pull out the cobblestone? I actually don't need it now that I realize that there's a freaking furnace there, so... And I gotta go out and find some copper and all of this good shit before I do anything else. So let me move the sword there so I can... yeah. You can dual wield too in this game, which I found very, very interesting. Running around in the dark. All of that fun stuff. Ooh, geez. Okay. This must be a not very interesting let's play. Just going to say that now. I can't really think of anything interesting to say at the moment. And I know I say that in just about every video that I put up to date, but, like, I literally have nothing witty to say at the moment. Literally. Right, yeah, you thought you could get the jump on me. Currency in the school chest. The loot. And that was actually exactly what I needed, too. That was exactly what I needed, was copper ore. I don't even need to dig deep to get it like I did the first time around with that shit. Anyways. But, um, yeah, if you guys are noticing, too, if it seems like I'm not, like, my usual, like, bombastically yelling out when things happen kind of person, you know. Like, usually that's not really the way that I do things anyway, but, like, you know. Loud and obnoxiousness, though, but I mean, more, like, on the terms of, I guess the words that I am using right now is honestly because my mother would be home and I just don't really feel like yelling and screaming and dropping f bombs like it's going that style. So, if it seems like I am not overly bombastic today, that would be the reasoning. And that will probably happen a lot, honestly, with the recording session that I have set up. And what is going on in here? Oh, okay, never mind. Alright. There was no reason why I needed to use that. I just felt like it. <laughs> dig deep. Dig real deep. I probably should stop doing that, actually. Oh, well, I'll figure it out later if I need to. Oddly enough, my freaking race, even though they are fish people, don't really breathe underwater. It's odd.
I can hear someone behind me, what's up? Yeah. This is actually kind of, uh... I didn't think that one through at all, I have... Alright, no, never mind, there's a cave beneath me, we're good. I was wondering for a moment how that one was gonna work out with putting torches down and seeing where I was going. Exactly. All right. I can always use more plant fibers. The more plant fibers, the better. But yeah, this game has honestly been on my to-do list for a long time for Let's Plays. I just wasn't able to do it on the old crap top before because it just wouldn't be able to handle the game and OBS running at the same time. But now that I have the desktop, obviously, things have changed. And definitely for the better. Why am I still digging straight down? Okay. Let's branch off here a little while. This is this is weird to do without a pickaxe. I'm so used to using like a pick or something like that to dig deeper, and now that I'm using this crappy where am I? There we go. This crappy matter manipulator thing, I think is what it's called. Yeah. I am like unable to think do this at the same time, apparently. This vein just, like, never ends like the hell. And it sucks, too, because with these kind of games, I'm always the type of person where I can be in the middle of doing something really important and then just cut myself off to be like, ooh, or, and stop everything that I was doing to dig it up, and then five seconds later wonder where that's playing out. So let's just continue moving deeper into the earth until I can get that copper. Or I might just jump cut to it. You know what? I'm going to jump cut to it. That's what I'm going to do. I'll see you guys at the top. Okay, guys, and we're back. And I realized a couple of things, actually. One, I'm not looking for copper ore. I'm looking for iron ore. Secondly, I fell into this big-ass cave thing, and that thing is scary as hell. And I'm going to kill it. So let's move on to that. <laughs> That, I think, is actually a cave-type creature, not like a Pokemon-type or anything, but, uh, they, they are usually, like, tougher than your average, like, overland monster kind of thing. So, first things first, we need light now, or I'm going to get just wrecked. Okay. Second thing is, I kind of want to experiment with uh, seeing what's up here. But what we're supposed to be looking for is iron, like I said, and the sooner that I can get it, the better, because I need to work on. That's a chest. With a two handed. What, a spear is it? I think it's a spear. Yeah, with 35 points of damage. You know, I like broadswords more. Okay. So let me go ahead and take that chest, because I like storage. And I need to get building up to go to where that iron vein, I think, is. Might be a vein, I can't tell, really. Let's get up here. And, alright, that worked exactly the plan, except that that's only one little piece of iron. Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. I am going to need some serious light down there, and I do not have that. Do not. Alright, let us let me try to funnel off this water somewhere else. That might help considerably. Because this shit needs to go somewhere. Water is one of the most annoying things in Starbound. It's kind of broken, sort of, a little bit, but it's like... I broke it off into a cave. Cool. All right, that works exactly the way that I wanted that to kind of work. So it wasn't the exact thing I had in mind, but I'm glad it happened. Very convenient. 
again, I don't know, I'm gonna need to preview this video later on to see how I want to run these, because now that I think, like, I don't want these, this Terraria Let's Play to just be filled with, I've been drowning for five minutes now. I don't want my Terraria Let's Play to just be, like, filled with, hey, watch me, watch Silent dig up a bunch of random shit all over the frickin', uh, cave systems that he goes into and stuff for 20 minutes. No, like, you know, it's gonna have something interesting in it. I'm okay with, like, the whole digging part and stuff, but that's not entertaining to watch. I might just cut them out when I do the digs. And then do like 40 minutes of recording just in case or something. It's more than one way to heal, and I gotta get back up there. I had a better idea. Attack me. Kill me. Thank you. You get to see the death animation. And they actually make it that you're still walking around and stuff. It tells you that you've lost pixels and shit. Uh, I'm naked. Okay. Go back down to the planet and back home. <gasps> Smelt all the copper. Smelt all the iron. And I should be able to make that anvil that I need. Perfect. I can craft all sorts of weapons. To obtain 20 core fragments, I can pin them deep underground near the planet's core. With those, sail should be able to fix my ship's thrusters. That's going to be a fun thing to do. Oh boy, that's going to be a fun thing to do. That was entirely new. I remember that being an entirely new thing. Hmm. Well, I do want a copper pick. I do, and it only needs two bars, which is nice. Puddle pants. Puddle hats. Puddle chest guard. It requires so much less materials to make things now, and I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. I do usually like spears in this game, I will say that much. Well, first things first, I need armor, so that is going to happen. I have my copper pick, so... Go. Um... I might just... no. I do like that a lot, so I'll keep it. And for good measure, let me throw the chest topside. But you, 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 you're going up there. Yeah, I might as well throw the iron in there. I really don't need it, technically. We're off to a good start right now, guys, so we're gonna move over to the next part, and I'm gonna move towards getting into the core of the planet. This is entirely new for me. I don't remember ever really digging deep in this game, so I don't know how that's gonna turn out. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut the episode